Once upon a time, there was a princess and an iron stove. Oh, father! Where are you, father? Oh, it wasn't really an iron stove, but you'll find out. The princess had become separated from her father's hunting party and found herself lost in a strange part of the forest. Ah, get away! Get away from me! Oh, where has everyone gone? I can't find my way home and there's no one to help me. Don't cry, little girl. I'm here and I will help you find your way home. Who's there? Who said that? Why, I did, of course. But you're only a tree. Don't be silly. Trees can't talk. Come and see. I'm behind the tree. <laughs> oh, thank you, kind sir. For I've lost my way because this is a strange part of the forest to me. Huh? Where are you? I can't see you. Why, I'm standing here, behind you. Oh! You're very beautiful. A young girl as pretty as yourself must certainly be the daughter of a king. It will be my honor to help you find your way home. What are you doing? You can't sit there. You'll hurt it. Get up. You must get up. No, before it is too late. Don't hurt me. Oh, oh. You must be more careful. Look, you've fallen on this poor little flower. Huh? Flowers are helpless little creatures that can't take care of themselves. It's up to everyone in the forest to look after them. You did it. You made the flower well. Why, this is magic. Are you a magician? No, I'm not a magician. It's just that I've been living in the forest for so long that my only friends are the animals and the flowers that live here, too. An evil spell has trapped me inside this stove. My name is William, and I am a prince. Really? A prince? Hey, wait, I've never heard of any prince being locked inside of a stove before. According to the evil spell, a princess has to cut a hole in my side with her father's dagger and then promise to marry me. Hey, you're a princess. You could marry me, couldn't you? But I'm too young to get married. Isn't there another way to set you free? The fire in the stove has me trapped until a princess cuts a new hole in it to release the energy I am doomed to live in here forever. All right. I'll bring back his dagger. Oh, thank you, princess. My friends will take you back to your castle at once. Your friends will? Yes, the rats will take you home. Oh, you don't have to worry. Rats uh, are the most dependable guides in the forest. You said you would take me home. I cannot leave the forest as a stove. Certainly you must realize that. But I get frightened around rats. They scare me. Oh, these aren't ordinary rats. They're my friends, and they will protect and guide you even better than I could. Oh, my. You'll see. So the little rats lined up in single file and marched to the clearing in the forest to deliver the princess safely back to her father's castle. Please hurry back, for we haven't a moment to spare. Mm-hmm. No daughter of mine is going to marry a so-called prince living in an iron stove. You've come down with fever. That's all it could possibly be. Mm -mm. I'm sending you straight to bed, my dear, and I will have the best doctors in the kingdom come look after you. No! Oh, Father, you don't understand. I've given him my solemn word that I would return to the forest and help him escape from the stove. I must. I just have to go back and help him. <laughs> don't worry, dear. If you have given your word, I'll take care of it. Of course, the king couldn't very well let the princess go back into the forest to meet the prince who was trapped in the iron stove. But as all good fathers will do, he was compelled to honor his daughter's commitment to her word. So he sent her chambermaid in her place. <laughs> oh, my goodness! I've never felt such a ticklish thing as that before. Oh, please don't do that again, or I shall certainly die from laughing. But, but you're a stove! How can you talk? I'm not a stove. I'm a prince. Please, you must return to your castle and send back the princess, for only she can free me from the evil spell. Oh, help me! That's all he said, sire. I came back to tell the princess I'm sorry. Mm, that means I must return immediately and help the prince escape. But, my dear daughter, it is far too dangerous for you to go. What if the prince is some kind of horrible ogre? But he isn't. Flowers are helpless little creatures that can't take care of themselves. No, Father, because I know that only someone with a kind heart could befriend rats. But what kind of man becomes friendly with rats? Princess, please help me! I'm sorry, Father. But... I must go to him, for he is waiting for my return. But... Princess, uh, wait! I must go, Father, I must. 
And so the young princess returned to the forest to help the mysterious prince trapped within the stove. She toiled for hours, twisting and digging into the heavy iron with her knife. Just a little bit more, princess. It feels like you've almost got it. Stop moving. I'll never get it. All right, but hurry. Tell me what's going to happen to you when I finally break through. You have to vow to marry me immediately. I do? Yes! <laughs> Suddenly, the evil spell was released from the iron stove, causing it to shatter into small pieces. But that was just the beginning. Princess, quickly, we must vow to marry. But why? Why don't you just run away? If you don't marry me, I'll have to go back. Oh, but I can't marry you. Huh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm afraid it doesn't matter much now anyway. Who is that? I'm scared. Princess, there isn't anything to be afraid of. Not at the moment, anyway. But if you make me mad, there'll be plenty to be afraid of. <sighs> William, you should have known I would never let you escape. Now, Princess, behold my special powers. My brave young prince goes back in the stove. No! Oh! No! Forget it, Princess. There isn't a thing you can do for him now. Oh, I'm going to let you go this time, but I won't be so generous oh. next time. So stay away from my prince! I won't! The Princess ran after them, but they were nowhere to be found. Come back, Prince William. I'll vow to marry you. I promise you. It's my fault. I'll never see him again. <laughs> Hello there, Princess. Where are we going? Hey, wait for me! Huh? Hmm? Uh, uh, What's the matter, Princess? You scared me. Sorry, Princess. We didn't mean to. It's just that we saw you crying and we thought maybe we could help. But what can you do? Plenty. I'm a prince, too. Get down from there. You are not. Oh, yeah? The gnomes in the forest told me that all frogs were once princes, huh? Gnomes are fools. How many times am I going to have to tell you that anyway? You're the fool! I've heard that, too. Sometimes princes do get turned into frogs. You see? The princess agrees with him. Stop. Don't you? Wait. There is one way to find out if you're a prince. You've hmm. caused enough trouble. Why don't you be quiet? I'm trying to help. You'll have to kiss him to find out if he's a prince or not. Yeah, kiss me. Mm -mm. What? what? But that's the only way we'll find out if he's a prince or not. The huh? princess doesn't want to kiss me. I'll always be a frog. Mm -hmm. Don't. Please don't cry. It's not that I don't want to kiss you. It's just that I've already got a prince. I'm only sorry that I didn't tell him that I would marry him. Don't you worry about a thing, Princess. You're going to get your prince back. How? You'll have to rescue him. It won't be easy, but if you are truly in love with him, then that is all that it will take. I do. So the frog told the princess about the castle where the prince was kept prisoner by the evil imp fairy. How she had tricked him into the iron stove and would only release him if he vowed to follow her into the world of the imps and live with her forever. Like me to release you, wouldn't you? Yes, of course I want to be released. Now come, my prince, this way. Come this way. Join me in my eternal world. No! Yes. Step into the fire and join me forever in the world of stitch and darkness. Never. I don't understand why you continue to resist my desires. You know that eventually you will come to love me and give in to my demands, Prince William. Right? I won't do it. I won't. I won't. You will. Princess! Princess! Help me! I'm coming. Off she went, armed only with her love. The magic of the imp fairy is powerful, Princess. You must be very careful. You will go through the South Forest until you come to the place known as Thorny Mountain. You must not fear this place or show any weakness. Any lack of faith can be used against you by the imp fairy. And you must be very quiet while you're in the Thorny Mountain, or the imp ghouls will certainly find you. The imp fairy will try to confuse you with false images and trickery. Trust your instincts and let your love guide you to the Prince. Princess, go back! No! <gasps> Trust 
trust your instincts. Trusting one's instincts was not an easy task in this forest. The princess mustered every ounce of courage she could find and cautiously began making her way up Thorny Mountain. Ow! Huh? Ah. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do we have here? The princess has come to play today! Faith, princess. You're not real. I'm not afraid of you. Yes, we are. Mountain is the river of no return. It protects the imp fairy's castle from intruders. The only way to cross it is to trust your faith. I trust my love. I won't stop. I'll rescue my prince from the evil imp fairy because my love grows stronger and stronger by the minute. Once you have crossed the river, it is only a short distance to the castle. <gasps> it's too deep. I'll never make it. It doesn't matter how much I love him. I can never cross a river such as this. Remember, <laughs> my brave young prince goes back in the stone. No! Wait, watch out! It's too late. I mustn't stop. I know my love won't let me down. I'll cross the river for my love. Mm. Princess, when you are doubting the faith in your love, remember that love is the bridge between all things, good and bad alike. The frog was right. Love will conquer all. Please let me out of the stove. I can't stand it in here another minute. I'll do anything you say. What? You will? So, Prince William, you're finally seeing things my way. You'll have to promise to marry me as soon as you come out. All right, I will. Really? Good, then kiss me. <gasps> I can't kiss you. I don't love you. I love the princess. <gasps> no! You'll never get the princess because I'm stealing your youth from you and she'll never love you, never! <gasps> I should have done this in the first place. I'll show you, the man within, so young and fine. Now leave that stove to become mine. What's happening? What's happening to me? <laughs> Let's see how much your princess loves you after she sees you stripped of your youth. Princess, where are you? Princess! <laughs> now, Prince, why don't we have a look? My hand! What have you done to me? Giving you a glimpse into the future with the princess. Look in the mirror. Who is that ogre? What have you done? <laughs> this isn't fair. I'm too young to look like this. Why are you doing this? Why? Tell me you love me and I'll change you back. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you I love you. The princess is the one I love. <laughs> <laughs> The imp fairy hadn't really turned the young prince into an old ogre. She had only made him believe that she had. After all, she wanted to marry the handsome young prince as much as the princess did. How will I ever get in? Hello? What do you want? <gasps> I, I, I'm lost. <gasps> You're not lost. But I, I am. 
I must have taken the wrong road back to my own castle. Sure. You're a human being, aren't you? Hey, human beings aren't allowed to come into the Imperi's castle. Yeah, that's right. Oh, it is. oh, but I'm cold and hungry. Please, at least let me end up something to eat. That's too, too bad. bad. Huh? Now go away before we really get mad. Understand? Wait a minute. The magic walnut. If you really get stuck and you just don't know what to do, then take out the magic walnut and it will help you. It will know exactly what you need. Huh? Wow, wow diamonds, diamonds, I love them. Well, then in that case, mm -hmm. you may have them all. Really? really? All of them? Mm-hmm. Wow. Ooh. What are you doing? Leave my diamonds alone. Those aren't yours, they're mine. Well, keep your big hands off. Who's going to make me? I <laughs> 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 So the princess made her way into the dark, foreboding castle, not having any idea where to begin looking for the prince. <laughs> prince William? <laughs> huh? Prince William, it's me, the princess. Call out if you hear me so I can find you. Over here, princess. <laughs> Nothing. <gasps> huh? What's the matter with you? Don't you recognize me? I'm the princess who helped you out of the iron stove. Oh. Listen to me. We've got to get out of here right now. Give up, princess. He's all mine. <laughs> ah, my <gasps> love's come back again. Ah! No, it's a trick. You must come with me before it's too late. There's no use pulling on his arm like that, princess, because the prince belongs to me to love forever. Why don't you stay and watch the ceremony? What ceremony? What are you saying? The marriage! <laughs> you may find it a bit difficult to follow us, though. You must leave! You're in danger! No! <gasps> Wait! My prince! <laughs> no! Farewell, princess! William, <laughs> don't go! Ready? Uh -huh. Join me now for eternal youth. Prince William, don't follow her. It's just a trap. You'll never get out again. Wait! <gasps> Isn't that too bad? You've reached the end. I'm afraid it's too late for your great love to save him now. <laughs> That's right. I forgot about our love. Prince William, listen to me. You can't go in there with her because I love you. I've always loved you. Who is that? <gasps> Stop paying attention to that voice. You've already vowed to stay here with me. Don't listen to her, my darling. Promise to marry me and save yourself. I know that voice. Huh? Princess! Princess! Oh, no! <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Get out of there! I can't! <laughs> What is she doing? She can't jump here. Prince William! Uh, her love is stronger than I thought it was. She's going to ruin everything. My love. And I won't give him up to you. Uh, 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 I won't give him up to you no matter what you do. Your love is a selfish one, and that is why the prince could never love you. I let you escape once, but I won't let you go this time. I should have turned you into the stove when I had a chance! Oh, <laughs> Love truly conquers all. The evil fortress could not stand up to the goodness within, so the walls came tumbling down around the two lovers, who were protected by a shield of their love. Thank goodness you're all right. I love you, I love you with all my heart. And I you. Will you marry me? Mm. When their love was sealed with a kiss, the goodness was complete, and the evil that had existed with the imp fairy's selfishness was finally gone from the land forevermore. 
Only the ruins were left behind to remind the kind creatures of the forest that love always wins in the end. And that it is indeed faith in that love which makes the world a better place for everyone. Hmm? May your, May your love, love be, be here, here forever. forever. The princess did it. She did it. She saved the prince. <laughs> all around the land, the evil spells placed upon the people of the realm were broken, and all was returned to the way it had been before the imp fairies taught it. There was much rejoicing in the land, for the love of Prince William and his princess would protect all who dwelt in the kingdom for generations to come.